Hey y'all, it's Jen and welcome to my channel Ifers Inklings. I just wanted to take a few minutes to talk a little bit about Charles Bukowski before we get into um, this poetry discussion. Now, I have five collections of Charles Bukowski here and the poems that I discuss are going to come from these works. Some of Charles Bukowski's works, no, no, a lot of Charles Bukowski's works are vulgar and crass, full of profanities and vivid sexual content and details. And while some of the poems that I pick won't have those elements in them, there probably will be some that do. So if that is offensive to you in any way, shape, or form, please go ahead and click out of this video right now. I cannot guarantee that it will not contain any of those elements. Now with that said, I hope you enjoy this poetry discussion on one of the works from Charles Bukowski. Hey guys, um, as you can see my background's a little differently right different right now. Um, I am in a hotel room in Kansas City. It is the first day of January 2019 and um, I am going to be talking about Charles Bukowski. The, this particular poem is going to come out of the book On Love. It is actually featured in several of his poetry collections because it's a very popular one. Um, and that is going to be The Bluebird by Charles Bukowski. In this book, you can find it on page 200 and 201. So, I am not a poetry expert by any means. I am not very well versed in poetry discussions or dissections or whatever but um, for me poetry that I enjoy is poetry that speaks to me and that I can get some kind of emotion out of it and Charles Bukowski does that to me he talks in very blunt language in fact some of the poems that I'll get into in the later in the year are gonna be pretty crass and have some um, language in it that may not be appropriate for all audiences. This one is not one of those poems, so no, you know, there's no need for a disclaimer or anything for this one, but I just want you to understand that I am by no means a poetry expert. I am just going to be talking about the feelings that I get out of this, this poem and what it means to me and what I pick up on. You can find all kinds of different discussions on Bukowski's work and interpretations and all sorts of things um, on YouTube uh, there's they're all over the place and there's also several blog posts about it so without further ado let's get into this poem the bluebird there's a bluebird in my heart that wants to get out but I'm too tough for him I say stay in there I'm not going to let anybody see you there's a bluebird in my heart that wants to get out. But I pour whiskey on him and he'll inhale cigarette smoke. And the whores and the bartenders and the grocery clerks never know that he's in there. There's a bluebird in my heart that wants to get out. But I'm too tough for him. I say, stay down. Do you want to mess me up? You want to screw up the works? You want to blow my book sales in Europe? There's a bluebird in my heart that wants to get out. But I'm too clever. I only let him out at night sometimes when everybody's asleep. I say, I know that you're there, so don't be sad. Then I put him back, but he's singing a little in there. I haven't quite let him die, and we sleep together like that with our secret pact, and it's nice enough to make a man weep. But I don't weep, do you? So, the bluebird can be interpreted in a lot of different ways. Uh, to me, this poem talks about a man who has a heart, who wants to love, who has love in his heart, but doesn't want to let it out because he thinks that being in love will make him vulnerable or make him appear weak or make his his work, his books, his poetry um, not come out the same way. Bukowski is very much, a lot of his poems talk about 
love and heartache and um, heartbreak and being that person that pushes love away or doesn't accept love because he doesn't feel he deserves it or because he doesn't think he is capable of loving someone else. And this work, I think, really shows that he does have a heart and he, that little bluebird in there, he really wants to, someone to love. He wants someone to love him, but he can't really show it because, you know, love makes you vulnerable and letting someone else in, letting someone see the bluebird inside of you is going to potentially, um, hurt because I could leave but in the end it shows that last stanza really shows that he knows that that bluebird is in there he knows that he wants love he knows he has a heart capable of love and deserving of love um, but he wants to keep it secret you know he's got that tough guy image to maintain that's what this poem speaks to me about a lot is wanting love, um, being vulnerable, being a little bit lonely, because this bluebird wants out. He's lonely. He wants another bluebird that he can sing to. And, you know, he hasn't given up hope for that. His, his heart still thinks that, that maybe he can have that love out there somewhere. Maybe there's a bluebird inside someone else that will hear his bluebird and sing the same songs back. And you see that in the lines where, where it talks about him taking it out, um, but he hasn't quite let him die. The potential's still there. He's still a little bit open to love. He hasn't quite killed that bluebird yet. He hasn't quite killed that hope hasn't quite decided to lock away that bluebird forever um, but he's not going to take it out to show just anybody you know it's going to be have to be somebody special to um open his heart up and and see his bluebird so that is my thoughts on bukowski's bluebird uh, just a little quick side note that kind of goes along with this uh, my interpretation of this poem is that the symbol of a bluebird is the harbinger of happiness. So, you know, it kind of goes back that happiness, love, you know, being vulnerable, um, knowing that you can be happy and be vulnerable and be in love or let someone love you kind of all goes back to the symbolism of the bluebird. So, uh, that's it. That's it for my interpretation of The Bluebird by Charles Bukowski. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the poem. Let me know in the comments below if you are a Charles Bukowski fan. And if you're not, let me know if this poem maybe kind of changes your mind a little bit. Um, as you know, I love Bukowski and I hope that my interpretation of his poems through his and kind of diving in around his crankiness and crassness will help you see Bukowski in a new light. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button over there if you're not already subscribed. Um, I do plan on doing a few Bukowski videos each month. Until then, I'll talk to you later. Bye.